Okay, I get it. Y'all don't like trash fruits. That's why from now on, I'll stick to fruits that people actually care about. As you can tell, today's video is about the rubber fruit or the gomu gomu no mi. So let's get right into it. The rubber fruit is inspired by the gomu gomu no mi, which is a paramecia type devil fruit that grants a user's body the properties of rubber, effectively turning them into a rubber human. This is directly shown by the game granting the users of the fruit immunity to rumble, electric pole and all guns to obtain the rubber fruit one can purchase it for 750,000 from the block fruits dealer or permanently for 1,200 robux it has a 13 percent chance of being in stock as well as a seven and a half chance of spawning randomly in the world the last way you can acquire the fruit is through randomly rolling it with the block fruits gacha just like the game the only way to get the devil fruit in one piece is to find it randomly in the world but i say the odds are much worse than seven and a half percent visually the rubber fruit is a square pink shape with a blocky swirl pattern surrounding it followed by a green stem shaped like a cursive t the gomu gomu no mi is pretty different here you can see a circular purple shape with spaced out wave like swirls topped off with a green stem that coils up on one side after looking at both fruits let's talk about who uses them in the manga slash anime monkey d luffy is the current wielder of the gomu gomu no mi if you don't know this character then you must be watching two piece because he's the show's protagonist it wouldn't be hard to say that of all the devil fruits in the world we know this fruit the best so it might make it easier for the rubber fruit to live up to it due to so much information being out there about the devil fruit luffy ate the gomu gomu no mi when he was seven years old and has taken this fruit to its pinnacle meanwhile in block fruits there's no npc that uses the rubber fruit so Onto the techniques and moveset. Rubber Fruit has six moves you can unlock. The first move automatically unlocked is Pistol, where the user quickly stretches their arm in the direction of the cursor. Then when released, it hits the target. The second move is called Cannon. After reaching 25 mastery, you can fling your arms backwards, causing your arms to be stretched, and after releasing your mouse click, the user springs their arms forward, causing damage and knockback. Then is Smash at 50 mastery. This this move allows you to stretch your legs upward, then smashing it back into the ground with a small knockback as well. Then comes Slingshot at 80 mastery, which can be used as a traversal move or offensively. You throw your arms to a target or object and launch yourself into it. The second last move is called Rush, which causes a barrage of punches in the direction you're looking. It can also be held down for longer use. Finally, the last move at 225 mastery is Transformation. Upon activation the user initiates a stance gaining a pink like texture on their skin and begins to emit steam while having this move active all animations change to be faster and all moves gain a damage increase smash animation is now changed to the user teleporting above the desired location this ability will last as long as the user does not die or run out of energy now when it comes to the techniques used by luffy there are literally hundreds so i'm gonna only go over the ones similar to the moveset just mentioned pistol seems to be inspired by gomu gomu no pistol this is basically a straight punch augmented with stretching exactly like the block suits move just like the last move cannon is just like the gomu gomu no bazooka which is when luffy sends both arms flying back and then launching his palms into the target usually sending them flying then there is the gomu gomu no ono ono means battle axe and this is when luffy sends his legs straight up into the air and then slings it back straight down the next technique is gomu gomu no rocket which is luffy's transportation move that works just like a slingshot after that is gomu gomu no gatling which you can see is just like rush finally Transformation is Luffy's gear second. It's a technique that it uses the power of the Gomu Gomu no Mi to enhance the user's overall speed and mobility. Now, before we get into the grading, let's take a second to talk about the usefulness of the fruits. Starting with the rubber fruit, anything grinding related, I'd say I don't recommend up until the underwater city due to the NPCs after that getting harder and these ones being able to use long range attacks. It's just not worth it when there's other fruits like Buddha, you know? PvP wise i'd say that you will find much fun in using this fruit 
not only because you can pretend to be luffy but just due to its goofiness and freedom but when it comes to the bounty hunting i'd say it's a pretty bad one there's not enough damage being dealt and low combo potential for this to be actually seriously used in the bounty hunting scene but in one piece the fruit is really good not only due to it being the main character's fruit but the capabilities of the fruit are based on the user's imagination to use them we have seen luffy defeat many overpowered individuals but hey he's also the main character and he has crazy hockey so how does the block suit stack up against its devil fruit well let's run a checklist when it comes to the power of the fruit i'd say it's spot on the properties of the devil fruit are displayed by the immunity to electric type attacks and bullets obtaining the fruits are pretty different but that's a smaller flaw on to aesthetics i'd say it's not too different or similar due to the same themes being shown with the patterns and stuff like that but the fruit is still a different shape and different color as well as with a different stem after that is the users which the game doesn't have now time for the big one moveset and techniques are a hundred percent alike block suits had plenty of info to work from with and they did great the moves are almost a one for one now with all that being said i'm gonna grade the rubber fruit an a plus not that it's perfect but it doesn't get much more perfect than this without copyright complications of course but hey that's all for today if you guys want to see the first episode of this series where i broke down the kilo fruit it'll be on the screen and in the description and in a moment another video will pop up on your screen that you should probably go check out but other than that you already know what it is mills mafia out yeah